Hey everyone, welcome back to video seven of my chakra education series. If you're just tuning in, I'm Kim, the late blooming light worker. In previous videos, we focused on the root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, and throat chakras. So be sure to check them out on my channel. Also, a quick plug for the beautiful scenery behind me. I'm currently shooting at the Gypsy Apothecary in Orlando, Florida. Be sure to check them out online or in person. Now on to the third eye. The third eye chakra, also known as the brow chakra, is located near the pituitary gland between the brows. The Sanskrit word for this chakra is ajna, meaning command. This chakra is associated with the element of light, the color indigo, and is the second of our higher spiritual chakras. The third eye is thought to be the eye of intuition and intellect. Visual premonitions, or those seen in dreams, are often seen with the third eye. Ajna serves as a bridge between universal and human knowledge. It is of Hindu belief that spiritual energy from the environment enters the body through the gateway of the third eye. Thus, spiritually protecting marks are made on the forehead. The third eye is also heavily associated with the pineal gland, an endocrine gland responsible for producing the dream-inducing melatonin. A balanced third eye allows us to experience clear thought so that we may connect with our inner wisdom. As previously mentioned, the chakra is a bridge. We use our third eye to internalize what is seen in the outside world and use symbolic language to externalize our inner world. Our third eye helps us to understand our spiritual nature and universal truths. We access our inner guidance or intuition through the third eye, which is done by seeing everything from a point of view of a witness or observer, devoid of opinion or judgment. Proper and regular meditation through this chakra aids us in seeing the deeper meanings of situations and our lives. An underactive third eye, however, is quite different. Confusion is common for someone with an underactive third eye. There is a lack of concentration and understanding. This type of person may display timid behavior and be fearful of the world around them. Furthermore, the lack of self-trust causes intuition to be very underdeveloped. Conversely, the overactive third eye can cause us to become proud, authoritative, or manipulative, basically an abuse of power or information. It is also common for this type of person to be cynical and dogmatic, being overly sure of their truth. An overactive third eye can also cause someone to become judgmental of others and their spiritual development, something referred to as spiritual snobbery. Finally, the overactive third eye can lead to detachment from the physical world due to an overattachment of the spiritual world. So balance is the obvious choice when choosing from the above, right? Well, how do we get there? You can try meditation, yoga, aromatherapy, color therapy, or Reiki, but the possibilities are literally endless, as long as you're doing what resonates with you and you remain consistent in your practice. So what do you do to balance your third eye chakra? Fill us all in on your personal tips and tricks in the comments below, or feel free to ask any questions about energetic balancing. So that's it for this video on the third eye chakra. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned to the latest late blooming lightworker content. Also, you can check out my third eye chakra balancing guided meditation designed to guide you through the relaxation process and several tools to help you connect with your pure third eye energy. Talk to you soon, fellow late bloomers.